entering Citrus Park in Bonita Springs. On your right are the baseball fields. This is this park is known for its softball. We have over eight women's softball teams and 17 men's softball teams. Most of the men are in their 70s and 80s and are still playing. However, this park has now changed its age limit from, uh, from 50 and we have lots of 55 retirees enjoying this beautiful park. This was once a citrus grove a vision of Mr. Eric Trost and his vision was to make a campground. This was originally uh, a campground and now has four sections to it. You are now entering the security gate. There's 24-7 security in this park. Coming up on your left is the clubhouse. Make that your right. Well, I'm going to turn. Uh, and our over 21 years old pool. When you have visitors, the 21 year olds and under have to um, use the rec hall pool. Is the activities office section. This section lots of year-round residents live in. You have single wides, you have double wides, the majority of them are double wides. We do have a few triple wides in this section. Red blush here. This is a pretty area. You should have come around the other way. Well, I can turn around. That's all right. Let me turn around. Okay. Well, you got it on? Yeah. This is one of the sections in the mobile home area called Red Blush. Beautiful area. Surround homes are surrounded by the lake. Crossing the main entrance to Citrus Park called Trost Boulevard and going into the second section, which is the resort section. Again, in this section, you can find single wides and double wides. And you can also live here year round in this section. Coming up you have on your right the driving range, one of another park amenity.
There are over 100 organized activities in this park. You can find something for any person to do. This is the newest street of the resort section. Okay. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yep. This is the clubhouse where all the dinner dances are held, all the activities, the theater group uses, the chorus. They have morning aerobics, tai chi. Just about everything takes place. It's a building that is in constant use. Now coming up on your right is the new administration building, Citrus Park office. Continuing down Trouse Boulevard, now going into the RV section. Now this section is uh, governed a little differently by the county. Um, you're allowed to stay here, just like in a campground, six months. If you want to stay longer, you can, but you then have to pay by the day, above and beyond your maintenance fee. Coming up on your right is the laundry room. the children's playground for the visitors when they come. Lots of grandchildren visit here. And uh, uh, alongside of that is the another swimming pool that can be used by all ages. A hot tub, a sauna. That's your shuffleboard carts on your right, right next to the rec hall. And the post office is there as well. All your mail is sent there. It can be picked up. Do you want to show the back side of it? Um, uh, aft. Yes, yes. First or last? What do you think? Last, last. Okay, we're now heading to 461, the unit that is for sale. Situated on a nice sized lot, beautifully landscaped. Close to all the amenities, shuffleboard, cart, rec hall, post office, swimming pool, within walking distance. Tennis courts, pickleball on your right. Horseshoes, bocce, and batonk. One of the French games that lots of the Canadians here like to play. And it's right behind 461. You want to catch the rec hall? Here's your rec hall on the other side, and post office entrance, library. and library. Straight ahead is 461, the unit for sale. 
the back side. Chicky Hut is located right on the main drag. Uh, lots of the men, men use it for uh, wood carving. They have uh, street parties there. Um, it's quite an active place right next to the fountain.